all, my name is Vampire Sam. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are brand new and haven't seen any of my videos before. Today, I'm bringing you guys something Caribbean inspired because we just got that new expansion pack that was totally free and oh my god they are spoiling us so much i swear to god i was so excited and it came out of nowhere honestly i was at work you know just minding my own business and all of a sudden i get the notification that the sims are streaming on twitch and i couldn't watch it of course because i'm at work and then i start i know after that i look it up when i'm in my lunch break i looked it up and boom we got a new expansion and guys let me just tell you how crazy that is because I had already been building this, oh by the way, I haven't even said what it is, but you guys already can tell by the title, of course, um, but I'll still explain, I guess. If you guys have gone to Disneyland, I don't know if they have it at Disney World, because I have never been to Disney World, but this is the Pirates of the Caribbean restaurant, which is called the Blue Bayou, and again, it's in Disneyland, I don't know about Disney World, and... I have wanted to I have been wanting to go there like my whole life no kidding I have been to Disneyland so many times and I always want to eat here but for some reason or another it never happens it never happens so now it's like my birthday wish that I want to go on my birthday and I want to eat there I don't even know what they serve but I want to eat there and it looks so pretty from the right I've been on the right plenty of times and I just want to eat there at first I couldn't figure out where they came in I was like they're probably VIP or some kind of you know some kind of special treatment type of thing because they're inside a ride eating but no I found the door <laughs> it probably sounds so stupid but yes it took me a while to actually figure out how it worked and yeah I mean I went to Disneyland about three times last year and like the first time I went with family and my family didn't want to eat there they wanted to go outside of Disneyland to save money and blah 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 so I couldn't eat there and then other times it's like either full because you have to make a reservation and yeah so most of the times when I go to Disneyland I don't plan it it's just kind of spontaneous it's like oh yeah let's go you know on a weekend and this is probably like the primary reason why I can't get in because it's like I said you have to make a reservation and since my Disneyland vacations I guess you can say my Disneyland getaways are not planned then I don't really get a reservation you have to plan this I think like two to three months ahead so my birthday is next week and that's what I wanted for my birthday and again it's not gonna happen <laughs> because I didn't plan with time again so I'm not gonna go to Disneyland, which is sad because I really wanted to, but it's okay. Maybe I'll go later. I mean, La Labor Day weekend's coming, so I'll probably go for Labor Day weekend and still call it my birthday. I don't know, but I really see no point on going to Disneyland because I've explored pretty much everything already, except, you know, I haven't, I want to eat here. That's like my dream. I want to eat here. So yes <laughs> i don't think i'm gonna go to disneyland unless i can get a reservation here and that is my goal that's my goal for this year or next year i don't know i don't even know but yes i want to eat here so bad one time if you guys have been here and you guys have tasted the food here please tell me let, let <laughs> give me a comment and just tell me kind of what deserve I, I mean i know i can look it up and i think i don't know I want to look it up, but at the same time, I kind of want it to be a surprise. But if you guys are willing to tell me at least if the food is good, if it's worth it, I probably am sure it's going to be pricey, but that's okay. That's okay. If it's a birthday wish, I think it's totally okay. So again, yes, let me know. Let me know in the comments if it's good, if you had it. If it's a good experience, at least, because I would picture it being a great experience. You see all the boats pass by. You can wave to people. It, with the lighting it's so romantic and yeah just let me know what the experience was and if the food was good if it's worth it even if it's not worth it i probably still go because <laughs> i want to experience it on my own but i want tips 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 but anyways yes we got the caribbean expansion which is perfect because i had been building this already without even knowing that the expansion was coming and yeah uh, so i probably worked on this for the past two weeks on and off just because i work full time and it's kind of hard to build now like before i would post a lot of builds and yeah that was my thing i love building but now that I work full time, it's hard. It's very hard because the building is very, very time consuming. Like a typical build takes me anywhere from, if it's like a basic house, it's just like two hours maybe. And if it's something bigger, like this restaurant took me about, I wanna say five to six hours. 
and so yeah it, it can take building can take anywhere from two to like days <laughs> two hours two days just because again it's it's very time consuming you have to place every single little item down so yeah my fellow builders would understand so it's so funny because I actually like I said I was building this before I even know or I even knew sorry that the expansion was coming so when the expansion came out I just went back and like automatically changed a bunch of stuff well, not a bunch of stuff but like the furniture that we got obviously I had to use it because it's Caribbean inspired so yes <laughs> I went back and changed pro like most of the lobby most of the lobby and again I have never been inside this restaurant even though I want to so bad so I went based on pictures and what I remember from being on the right on the inside of like the actual eating area but honestly I've never been inside the kitchen so I have no idea what that looks like I don't even know if they have restrooms inside of the restaurant and the lobby again I've never been inside the lobby so I just kind of made it up so again it's nowhere near accurate nowhere perfect so just putting that out there if you guys have been out there uh, have been there sorry and are looking at this build don't judge me because I have not been there so yes it's nowhere near accurate I just kind of went with what I was feeling for piratey vibes like ocean vibes and stuff like that and so yes this is a huge lobby area I know it's really big I don't know if the real ones like this but this is what I was feeling and I think it works it has two sitting areas of course one on the right one on the left and I think it looks pretty good it does give me a lot of piratey vibes and this was a little complicated just because it's a build inside a build like Disneyland loves that like the what is it not the Tower of Terror the um the Haunted Mansion it's like that too it's a build inside a build and so is this restaurant obviously there's not really a house it's like one building on the outside and then a complete different building on the inside there's a house inside of this build so of course you know we have some empty spaces like this whole front part obviously the lobby is not empty but the whole top of it is empty and yes here I start building the actual house that's on the inside and like I said, it was a little complicated. I was having some issues. I was having some issues just because it's hard. <laughs> it's hard placing a house inside of another house. But I think it works out pretty good. And I am really in love with how it came out. And I really wish I could go to the real one. This is like a video of me just complaining that I want to go to the real one. I'm sorry. But I really do want to go to the real one. <sighs> so sad. For my birthday, I won't get to go. But it's okay. One day. One day it'll happen. I mean, people will promise me like plenty of times that they'll take me. So one of these days, those promises will come true. <laughs> okay, so anyways, again, going based on the picture, I know there's some stairs on this side. So I placed them there and the stair railing. And then I move it just because I don't like how the railing was going through the wall. And yeah, it was not cute. So I just moved it out of the way. And then I placed some little doors, which everything is blue. But the theme is blue, so I went with blue doors. I know I changed them in a second. And I noticed that it has kind of like a curve right there and it has like a like a sh I was gonna say bookshelf but it's not really a bookshelf it's just like a kitchen shelf it has dishes and all this sorts of things in there and then I realized that I messed up because um, I'm building the whole house and not leaving space for a hallway so I had to go back and add the little hallway door and here I am just trying to figure out what kind of shelf fits better but since I'm using t I'm, I'm not sure if I'm using medium or tall walls but either way they're you know larger than usual so nothing looked pretty good so I just went for the kitchen shelves pretty much the kitchen cabinets that's pretty much what I used so I used like the kitchen um, cabinets along with the kitchen countertops and that's what worked the best so that's what I'm doing here and again I went with green just because green and blue seems to be the theme of again Caribbean Caribbean however you pronounce it it's Caribbean I'm pretty sure I just have been watching a lot of the the DLC or not DLC I don't know why I call it DLC the expansion stuff and a bunch of people have been calling it Caribbean so that's how I they got me calling it but you can correct me of course in the comments if I'm wrong but I'm pretty sure it's Caribbean not Caribbean but again I don't know I I know I don't know I know better I don't know better and yeah so that's where I messed up again and I'm going in there to correct it and then I correct it again just because it wasn't working out it was not working out the way I wanted it so I just have to play around with it until I like it and oh my god 
I really really like the way it turned out I tested it with stem so you guys can see that at the end or in the beginning as well and yeah this is where the stairs were giving me issues I have no idea why again it's just because it's a building inside a building it was giving me issues so you can see the fence is there but don't worry I remove it and it's functional upstairs basically I just make the bathrooms again I have no idea if there's even in a ba any bathrooms inside the restaurant but I mean this is empty space I'm pretty sure it's empty space in there too just because they like just the decor like aspect of it but for me functional and saving space I just made it the bathroom so your sims have to go upstairs to use the bathroom which is no big deal it's pretty spacious up there and I think it works pretty good and it doesn't you know you don't have to build a whole nother thing for just bathrooms and take away space when you have this space over here but yes, I do end up removing that fence from the stairs. Like I said, it's functional. I tested it and yes, I this should be on the gallery by the time I upload this. It should be on the gallery and a, I'm going to put it under Blue by You just because it's, that's the name of the restaurant. But I'm also going to put the hashtag for Pirates of the Caribbean and then Restaurant, Disneyland, and etc. Et and Or you can just look me up by my origin ID, which is Vampire Scythe XO. I had to use the XO because... It said that Vampire Scythe was already taken, although I looked it up and no one came up, so I have no idea if it is or not, but I couldn't use it, so that's all that matters. The XO has to be included, again, just putting it out there. So this is just kind of like the cubicle area, not cubicles, but just little rooms for the bathrooms and I skipped it just because there are bathrooms, nothing interesting and the space inside of the bottom of the house, I decided to make it the kitchen. Again, nothing special, I was just going with the requirements of a restaurant and then I did decorate it a little bit, I added some cabinets and I added some shelving on top of the kitchen and then I put some dishes hanging from the ceiling and that's pretty much it, nothing too special because I have no idea what their actual kitchen looks like those little roses uh, right there I they do have something similar so again I was just trying to imitate it as much as I could from the pictures the tables they have two versions I don't know which one's correct now they have one with the round wooden tables and then they have another one with glass tables like square tables so I have no idea which one's correct but I just went with wooden tables because they look prettier to me and here is where the dividing aspect of the restaurant starts so this is the dining area and then i'm gonna separate it with some water like it is on the right and then i'm gonna add something that reminds me of the actual ride and you guys will see that in a second for this little area that i'm doing here the little squares i just saw in pictures that it had something like the little warm i don't know what they're called these little things right here like they warm you up so i'm guessing i don't know to keep clients customers warm i don't know I just put them because I saw them in the pictures. I'm adding a bunch of chairs and these work actually perfectly. And of course, there's a lot of greenery inside of the ride. So I added two trees inside and then I made their own little like divider. Um, oh my God, I, I'm like losing all the words. I can't, I can't speak right now. I, whatever you use to divide a tree. I don't know. <laughs> I'm losing all the words, I'm sorry. I like, I can't think straight. I've been editing this video for a very long time. <sighs> so yes, I'm adding the lanterns here, which are the best part of this place. Honestly, it's just so gorgeous. And it's awesome that it looks like it's nighttime all the time, even if it's like the morning, which is great. I just, I love it. I really want to eat there. <laughs> and this area, it's a hallway that just leads you to the back when they seat you. I just decided to fill it with rum so it's basically just the barrels which i think pirates would have on their ships a bunch of barrels and the fishing nets again just whatever reminded me i don't know i obviously it's not accurate i don't know but yes i added a pool because you know this is where the boats would pass by you know naturally or like originally and i just filled it with a bunch of plants to make it look less like a pool and more of an actual like not pond but like ocean type of thing or lagoon i don't know what it's supposed to be but that's where the boats pass by and then this area here i decided to make it inspired on the ride because in the restaurant you can see the little like a little cabin and there's a guy on the chair whistling and there's like the fireflies but that just took it based on the actual ride i'm making a cave here with some rocks i think these are from uh outdoor retreat so i know one's a table and then one's a chair 
or like a bench so I'm just making a cave that I just completely I don't, I don't know just because in the ride they have that's what it looks like they have the versions of like the actual houses and bridges and all this stuff but then towards the end they have Jack Sparrow and like a cave and then they have skeletons and that's what I kind of went with so I added the skeletons and then I added a bunch of treasure chests and then I added a bunch of actual treasure so like a bunch of gold and emeralds and rubies and yeah I just skipped it because it took me forever to place every single one of these items but that's basically what I went when I put a tombstone right there because you know pirates I don't know <laughs> whatever reminded me of pirates and treasure and skeletons and yeah I just put it there and of course I put a bunch of trees inside as well because that's how the ride is you're basically outside when you're inside if that makes any sense if you guys have been there you know, you know what I'm talking about and like I said the expansion pack came out and was it really an expansion pack it's an upgrade I guess you can say the patch I don't know uh, so I'm just replacing it with the new love seats that we got and then the new um, the coffee tables as well and the new plants oh my god I loved it it's my favorite item I love it so much uh, I, I, I want that in real life it's so beautiful actually the love seat and the coffee table are perfect as well but the plant the plant I love so much and the little chair as well and then it took me forever to find the fans if you guys don't know they're under the miscellaneous decoration it took me ages i swear to god to find it uh so i had to look it up because i couldn't find it and that's where they are just in case you know fyi and outside i didn't really know because in this street you know this street for disneyland uh there's a bunch of buildings like like the same kind of buildings together i think it's new orleans is where it's supposed to be so yeah, I just kind of put a bunch of greenery to make it look kind of Caribbean, I don't know. I looked up Caribbean just because I'm not too familiar with it and it was basically a bunch of like trees and ocean so it's near the water so I thought it was perfect. But anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any suggestions for builds or anything, just let me know down in the comments and I'll see if I can make that come true. And I'm gonna go into screenshots but don't forget to comment, subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!